careful, everyone. Watch each other. They didn't have a choice. They were forced to do it. Keep telling yourself that, Lan. There is always a choice. They could have chosen to die, but now they're going to live and become stronger. I know that from personal experience. Shut up! You're not just a traitor, you're a monster! The young ones, they believed your stories, and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh! I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. I led by example! I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. Who do you want at your side? The person who betrayed the demons to follow you? The person who will do everything you say and bring glory to your name? Or this trash? I just kept going until I found it. You can find a way into anywhere if you try hard enough. And besides, I also remembered some of this traitor's stories. At least some of them were true. But that doesn't matter now. We need to tell Sol everything, and then we need to get out of here. We? You think you're the one going to the surface with them? Isn't that sweet? just there and now it's gone it's got to be some kind of demonic trickery you need to have a cleric look at that <laughs> as if you know anything about demons and their powers some dark force cast its gaze on her and chose her from among all others there is magic inside this Uplander that is beyond your meager understanding. And all you have to say is go see a cleric. You're pathetic, Lan. Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neathers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered, and I follow whomever is the strongest. You... You scared Zavamelech. Kosilla has fallen. Now, I wish to serve you. I thought you were proud of your heritage, but you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little stronger than you. 
You say you didn't become an animal? <laughs> what a joke! Only animals pledge their allegiance to whoever has the sharpest teeth. Oh, but what am I saying? Even cave spiders are loyal to their mother. You're even lower than that. <laughs> oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. And the Uplander will get the window act that she wants to see. I'm willing to do anything to get out of this hole. <laughs> and you're willing to do anything too. Don't try to hide it. I know you, Lan. I've had time to study you. I'm going to the surface only because my time has come to leave. The Uplanders are in danger. They need all the help they can get. But I'm only risking my own life. See the difference? I'll do whatever the Crusade asks of me, but I'll never be like you. Yes. Priscilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry. And she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody, or live, and gain the power to change everything. Sava Malik tore off a piece of an Azimar priestess's thigh. A big, juicy piece. More meat than I'd ever received in the tribe. <laughs> that was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy. To have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. I came very close to turning into an animal, no better than the weaklings you saw in the maze. But I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell so that I could rise again. You should have chosen death. Dying's better than living like that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan. But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? Who would have made you a man? I would have been fine without all that. And without you. Your death will make the world a slightly better place, Wenduag. Look, isn't our land sweet? Look how his eyes blaze as he speaks of murder. And we were so close, too. Tell me, what do you think he'll do to you if you fail to live up to his precious ideals? It was simple. I lured those I deemed worthy into the maze. To the rest, I told stories of the horrors of the maze, making them stay away. It all hung in the balance when the cave walls shuddered, and many of the young ones decided that the time of their great exodus had come. I had no doubt that Hosilla would dispatch a dozen young meters easily. But what would become of the maze if all the tribes poured in? So when Lan ran off looking for the Angel's sword, I went after him. Not to help him, but to make sure that the sword never reached Neethom. It's a pity that you got involved and stopped me from killing him. But then again, the evening gong has not yet been struck. You sicken me. Then you know which one of us you need. Take me with you, and I will give you an army of Neethers. Don't fall for her empty words. Wenduag despises everyone but herself. As soon as you show any weakness, she'll betray you, just like she betrayed us. That is the reasoning of a weak person. 
A strong person does not fear, they act. Up there on the surface, the Crusades are still going on, right? Since I'm a mongrel, uh, that means I've got Crusader blood in my veins. You could say it's my destiny, even. Anyway, I'm ready to do my duty. And all of you Crusaders get rations, right? With vegetables? <laughs> well, I'll be killing demons and be well-fed for doing it? That's not life. That's a dream come true. I'm sorry you trusted Wenduag instead of me, and that you didn't show the light of heaven to Sol. But she can be very persuasive. She honed her skills on all of us in the tribe. I'm asking you. Believe me when I say that I won't let you down. I have nothing to lose down here apart from my chief's distrust and my friendship with the giant roaches. I'll do whatever the crusade needs. Are you really that desperate to go to the surface, Lan? Why didn't you run away before? You know why. The Uplanders will never accept us. Don't pretend you're going for food rations. Then why? For death? For glory? If it's death you seek, you're sure to find it. Maybe I'll be able to find something on the surface that you can't get down here. Like a way to help the mongrels. A way to stop our tribes from having to follow scum like you. You think I'm just a freak from the catacombs? The Neathers are faster, stronger, and tougher than you Uplanders. Take me with you, and I'll build you an army of Neathers. I'll lure them out of this hole, we'll round them all up every last tribe, and perform the ritual. And then... You will be a power to be reckoned with on the surface. Many of the Neathers will be no better than the mindless beasts we encountered in the dungeons. But there will also be those who can overcome the fog and be like me. I will lead them into battle, and you will command us all. You trusted me from the beginning and hid the Angel's light from that idiot Saul. Keep listening to me, and a glorious future awaits us. The power you demonstrated, it was incredible. It swept Hosilla aside, it sent Savamelech running. I will follow you wherever you go. I hope we're not taking this girl with us. She'll sell us to the first demon she sees! If we're befriending monsters in order to fight the demons, why not join forces with the strongest of them? Isn't that the rational choice? They're both equally hideous. Neither of them will improve the aesthetics of our little band. Go, Lan. The surface is the best place for you. I'll be gaining true power while you wander as an outcast. You will come to regret this decision. But by then, it will be too late. Lan will never give you what I can. Your gifts are of no use to anyone, Wendwog. We can't let her go. Not after what she's done. You will regret this, Uplander. But by then, it will be too late. She's gone. But next time... She won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go and... Anyway, there's 
No point crying over spilt milk. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head. While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide.
by the goddess, Nevi. I... I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here is a new friend. She rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without her, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Erebeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Mm. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canalbris. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And... Thank you for getting Anevia out of there. The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders. But it's now been taken over by cultists. When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. Come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, we will fight for Canopris. The Wardstones are a gift of Iomade, created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. That's the spirit! You, take Anavia to the rear! The rest of you with me! Lord Horgus Worm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canabras can be said to be safe right now. That's right. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. Actual fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? <laughs> At least we're rich in that. <sighs> for Iomade! For the Queen! Kill the Beast!
I'd stay away from there right now. The tower is the main stronghold of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth and their allies. Going up against that many of them would be suicide. I have a better idea. If the demons and their mortal agents were better organized, the Crusaders would have been crushed long before now. But they're always trying to spread in every direction. Right now, in every corner of the city, there are demons like Kylas who are trying to consolidate their forces to launch a joint attack on the Defender's heart. Graybor, I'm a contract killer who's been hired to kill that demon that just walloped that other one. I've tracked him all the way here, and was planning to kill him when that crowd showed up, so I had to pull back. I'm afraid that's confidential. As a professional, I'm obliged to keep my client's name a secret. Don't even think about trying to take them all on single-handed. You'll be mincemeat. Better to warn the Crusaders in the Defender's heart that the demons are planning to attack. And later, once the attackers have been taken care of, it'll be much easier to sweep through this tower and eliminate the defenders left behind. Like when dueling with rapiers. One doesn't lunge, but waits for the opponent to strike and leave themselves open. Yeah, exactly like that.
I'm gone. Pretty good, aren't I? One for me. Uh, 